Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to another Magic Arena Explorer video. So today, as part of my endless quest to make both Elish Norn and the Eternal Wanderer work in this format, we are playing a deck that I saw Andrea Mengucci playing in Pioneer, um, and I looked at the deck list and realised that it was possible to just port this entirely over to Explorer without needing to change any cards or um, or, or kind of yeah remove anything. So and that is uh, so I've called it Mono White Control. I don't think it's really a control deck, but it's not really a ramp deck either. It's sort of mono white big things. Um, and so it's a Yorian deck, in other words, the bane of my paper shuffling existence. Uh, so it's an 80 card uh, main deck as normal, and uh, it sort of revolves around both Elish Norn, uh, doubling, doubling the triggers of your creatures as they enter the battlefield. And then the two versions of the Wandering Emperor, so the, the one from Kamigawa, which is one of the most powerful Planeswalkers printed in recent years, and then the Eternal Wanderer from Phyrexia All Will Be One, which is uh, on, on kind of raw power level, very good, um, but hasn't quite slotted into a home yet, I don't think, in the format, so we are going to try it in this instead. Um, and then we just have a lot of uh, enter the battlefield effect creatures, as we did in our previous uh, deck that played Elishnorn. So it's not dissimilar to the Panharmonicon Azorius one we were playing, but I think it's a little more streamlined. So we've got three Thraben Inspectors that investigates when it enters the battlefield, four Spirited Companions that draw you a card, three Ambitious Farmhands, which uh, fetch uh, a basic planes out of your deck and help you hit your, hit your land drops, you can also transform into a 3-3, three, three. A Charming Prince, which does a number of things when it enters the battlefield. Extraction Specialist, which uh, is a, a, a fun one in this deck. So it's a 3-2 lifelink. When it enters the battlefield, you can return a creature card with mana value 2 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. That creature can't attack or block for as long as you have Extraction Specialist. So you can play a Companion, chump block with it, play a Specialist, get the value from the Companion again. A particularly fun interaction is to play an Extraction Specialist, bring back a Charming Prince, blink the Specialist, and just sort of loop creatures that way and bring back maybe two or three from the graveyard for Cl Skyclave Apparition. We all know what this does. We've seen it many times. And then um, the rest of it is kind of spells, which are either very good in mono white, like lay down arms, so you can exile a creature with mana value less than or equal to the number of planes you control. Um, portable hole um, is a, a versatile removal spell, um, removes a, a permanent for with mana value two or less, and uh, the ossification as well, and Elspeth Conquer's death. These are all removal spells that are doubled, that triggers are doubled up by Elish Norn. And then in the mana base, we've got mostly uh, mono, uh, sort of basic planes, but we've got two Castle, castle Arden Vales, two Cave of the Thrust Dragons, two Iganjos, two Nykthos, just in case we want to uh, play around with a little bit of devotion. Um, won't necessarily be doing that very much, but, um, but there's always an option. Um, so there's a lot of white producing mana here, obviously, a few utility lands, and then we're playing full eight copies of uh, non-basic land destruction, both to deal with their creature lands and also any Nykthoses that we might run across while playing this deck. Um, so Yorian in the sideboard, but also a four copies of Deafening Silence, uh, which stops players casting one, one, more than one non-creature spell each turn, so that shuts down some of the stuff that Mono Green is doing, and also um, sort of Phoenix decks and the like. This might not be great in an Explorer sideboard, where Explorer isn't a, a kind of a format that has Phoenix in it particularly, so if that one doesn't work out, we might look to swap it out for something else. For Rest in Peace, there's Graveyard Interaction, four Elite Spellbinders as Hand Disruption, and then two Settle the Wreckage to take on aggressive decks um, with a Sweeper, but not one that affects our own creatures. So that was a bit of a whistle-stop tour of the deck. Um, as I say, it's uh, it's uh, I'm mainly playing it just to see if I can make these two cards work. Um, I think Mengu, Mengu had some decent luck with it. Um, it's not perfect, I don't think it's finely tuned or anything, but you know we're still in the early stages of the format, we're trying new cards, and I think we have been uh, potentially janking it up a bit um, on the channel this week, so let's kind of lean into that, and let's play a bit of mono-white controlling, ramping, big creatures and planeswalkers, and see what happens. So let's take it onto the ladder. So we have been losing quite a lot in our videos recently, so let's see if we can turn that around with some Mono White. Uh, yep, this is an okay opening hand. A couple of farm hands to go grab more land so we can build up to the Wanderer.
Rakdos, perhaps, from our opponent. Let's go grab a land. Yep, you will do. the most obviously signposted fatal push anyone's ever had. Yep. Okay, let's just play another farmhand. Keep building up our mana. Say go. Fable's always good. Okay, we're having a glut of Eternal Wanderers here, so let's draw with the clue. Nope, nothing good there. Bankbuster, this is an interesting configuration of Rakdos, not one you normally see. Um, yeah, so I'm happy to kill the goblin token. Should have triple blocked there. Okay, that's fine, they use their treasure. Uh, yep, let's Thraven Inspector. So, depending on what, depending on what they play here, I'm in the mood for ultimating an Eternal Wanderer, particularly if they play out onto the board anymore. Um, yeah, I'll just, I'll just take it. So let's play the Eternal Wanderer. You may keep your Harvester. Go ahead. So they've got a lot of cards in hand, but um, their board presence isn't as scary as it once was. Three six drops in the first few draws is not ideal. Okay, they're going to be able to Okay.
Don't know what they're waiting for here. Yep. Okay, where were you about a million turns ago? So let's play, do that. Let's play Elishnorn. Sure. Okay. Rocking two tenacious underdogs, that's fun. Okay, I think that will see us out. So let's pop in the rest in peace and the settle the wreckage. And I think some spell binders as well. So let's sideboard quite heavily here. Let's take out. Um, yeah, I'm not fast about portable hole. Maybe we don't need all the rest in peace. Three will be fine. And maybe just a couple of spell binders. Let's take out Elspeth Conquers Death. I think it's too slow. And one copy of Elish Norn. All right, let's try it like this. Great turn two draw. Sure, sure. Let's go fetch another land. Play it, pass the turn. Yep, do your worst. Okay, that may come in handy later. So let's extraction specialist. Get back our spirited companion, draw a card. The value, the value. Sure thing. Offer the trade. Yep. Uh, now let's just pass the turn. We will hold up the Emperor and the clue token.
Oh, excellent. When this creature dies, they don't even get the card. What a what a beautiful moment. Okay, fatal push your own tenacious underdog. Feel, feel free. Let's create a two-two. The em the em the emperor of Kamigawa doing work for us in all of its. Rather powerful forms. Must be one of the consistently best planeswalkers they've ever printed. Okay, they're going to get rid of it. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, I'll just kill it with my double striker. Let's draw another card. Let's draw another card. Let's rest in peace. Hit them for a lot. Good, good. Let's go to game three. So, I think I will bring back a couple of my portable holes. Maybe take out the spell binders on the drawer. I think they're a bit slow. Yep. Yeah, that's decent. This particular loop is fun if you've got lots of creatures in the graveyard. I think we're about to get thought seized. We are. Not sure what the uh, correct move is here. Taking the prince doesn't really help them because we'll just get it back. Yep. Sure thing. Yep. So let's prince. Scry two. Ooh. Ooh, yes to both. We will say yes to both. Uh, so let's just get rid of both of these, attack with our prince. Okay, shield it's fun. But he is disappearing under an ossification. Invoke to spare Rexus here, but fortunately they do not have the mana. Okay, they're just blitzing underdog, that's fine.
So let's attack. Let's play Elish Norn. Sure thing. Oh, double shield edict is pretty grim. Okay. Well done, you got us. Okay, that's Charming Prince. Scry 2. It's Charming Prince again. Let's exile that one. Gain three life. Fable's always fun. So let's off the trade with their token. Let's hold up the Wandering Emperor. Cool, cool. Not getting away with it this time. Let's pop Yori in our hand. Okay, they're certainly not giving up. That's pretty rude. Okay, let's set ourselves up where we can effectively settle the wreckage. Also makes their trespasser much worse. So we're slugging it out here, but I don't hate our spot. They do have an active reflection though, which is always a, a challenge. But without an answer to Yorian, we are going to hit them for quite a lot of damage. Sure, sure. Yep. Yeah, I mean, whatever you want. Let's 
Okay, that's quite fun. So let's play a farm hand. Let's grab another land. Let's pop them to one. Two reflections. Can they do anything with this final draw? Oh, Arena, you're playing very sensual music. Is it a slow melody to l lull us into the end of this match? As the opponent thinks and thinks and dies. Okay. An unusual configuration of Rakdos there, but we did beat it, so uh, we'll take that, and we will move on to another. Okay, back for match two. Um, hmm. Double Eternal Wonder is a bit rubbish, but... No. Got. Okay, what's going on here? Ninja. No, Naga. Naga Rogue. Okay, some sort of unblockable thing going on here. That's neat. Okay, let's play the Prince. Scry. Keep all the lands we can. So some sort of mono white. Mono mono no, I'm playing mono white, so Okay, this is interesting. So yeah, sort of super aggro. So let's Take out their hex catcher. Attack for two. Say go. This is an interesting one. So yeah, it's just mainly merfolk, but unblockable tribal. And then... I like it. Whatever it is, I like it. Okay, I Ganjo could be useful as well, so let's hold back on attacking. Sure thing. Okay, let's play the Wandering Emperor. Let's get rid of this. Block here. Okay, that's not too bad. Neutral on life total exchange there. Ooh, that's a spicy one. Um, So we are dicing with our life total a little bit here, but um, we'll stop their triggered abilities from happening. And 
the Emperor's going to absorb a bit of uh, damage for us here. Okay. So let's land the Eternal Wanderer. So yeah, I think we'll let them keep their Miss Cloak Herald. We'll keep Elish Norn. They will get a 2-2 as a result, so they will be able to take down the Emperor. But but we're now in a pretty commanding position, I think. And we can follow up with another Eternal Wanderer. Okay, Merfolk Trickster won't uh, do anything, so they won't be able to tap down our Elish Norn. But they will be able to get in for three if they want to. Sure thing, zero fear. Ooh, that's a good one. So instead of playing another Wanderer, let's attack. Let's lay down arms on their Miss Cloak Herald. Let's play Extraction Specialist. Sadly, we only have one target, but... Uh, Gain three life, exile our extraction specialist. Nope, they've seen enough. Okay, good, good. So, settle the wreckage is fine. I think the only thing I'm going to bring in, I'll take out all the Elspeth Conquer's death, maybe put in one, a couple of spell binders. Take out one Elish Norn. Just to lose some of the top layer. But yeah, apart from that, just to keep the curve as low as possible. Um, this is a tough one, because we've got three one drops. Yeah, let's keep it. Okay, let's stick that in a hole. Good, good. Let's play farmhand, make sure we hit another land drop. Oh, curious obsession. Good, good. That's fun. So I think we've got to try and take that down. The 
They didn't show us any counter spells last game, but I'm sure they're playing some at least in the sideboard. No, good, good. Play companion, draw a card. Okay, Nykthos is good, so we've uh, got back all of our lost land. Okay. Hex catch is a good one. But we do have a good answer for that. Hopefully we should be able to play the Eternal Wanderer next turn. So let's... Uh, no, because they can actually counter it by sacrificing both their Merfolk, so I think I'm just happy to play Elish and Orn instead. And hold up our clue token. Gaining three life is always good here. Just keep them a little bit off the aggro. Sure thing. Draw here. So yeah, let's see what they make of this. They don't have the merfolk to sacrifice, yep. So let's create a double striker. Attack here. Pop Yorian in our hand. So we're in a pretty pretty good position here. Just the incremental value of all of our creatures um, just built up over time. That makes sense. Although they are exposing themselves to a lot of damage on the crackback. Okay, another hex catch is a good one. So let's create another Samurai. Do 
turn this into a 3 3. Offer them some very unprofitable blocks. I think post combat we'll play Yorian. Sure, yep. So let's Yorian. Let's blink the Eternal Wanderer, the Portable Hole, the Thraben Inspector, and the Spirited Companion. Nope, they've seen enough. Okay, good, good. Let's move on. So yeah, we should have time for one more match. But yeah, I've been impressed by this mono white deck. It's uh, been doing a few things. Uh, yep, we will keep that hand. Okay, a snow-covered swamp. That's exciting. Don't see those very often. Um, we'll keep the Cave of the Frost Dragon, even though it's not ideal, because it is just a land. Sure thing. He will be back. Let's play Thraben Inspector. Yep, take three. Ooh, Trespasser. Cheeky. Uh, yep, we'll keep both of those. Sure thing. Uh, is it worth double blocking here? No, probably not. Go ahead. So what are we discarding here? Probably the Eternal Wanderer, I think. Take four. Now let's ossify. Away their Bone Crusher Giant. Pop Yori in our hand. Say go. 
Ooh. Yikes. Okay. Okay, that's a good one. Um, can't really attack here, unfortunately. Too low on life. Let's just... They can keep the Bone Crusher Giant. Now we hope for the best. That is not the best. <laughs> okay, let's play Mummy. Good, good, that's what we like to see. That's fine. So let's draw with our clue. Oh, God. Say go. Activate Castle Ardenvale. Let's make some blockers. Um, draw with our other clue. Oh, good lord. Um, okay. Go again. Feel free to lock Thwain to your heart's content. Yep, yeah, alright, we'll scoop this one up. Shame, just flooded out of it at the end there. Um, what's good here? Spellbinder. Maybe one settle. Let's take out... Portable hole. of Elish Norns. Yeah, let's do it like this. So I subsequently discovered in that first match we played that actually Reckon a Bank Buster is not too uncommon in a Rakdos deck now, so shows what I know. Oh yeah, we'll keep this interaction for days. Sure thing.
We can't keep them from doing anything for quite a while, but we will need to draw some more land at some point. Yep. So I'll target creature or no, nope, so that's not gonna do anything against their bank buster. And we don't have a third land to apparition it away. So I fear we may be too late here. The value they're accruing off these uh, bank busters is considerable, let's put it that way. Yeah, I think we can do without him in our lives. The reason I'm not playing the apparition here is um, just in case to try and kill it from under uh, the effect. Sure. Um, yeah, let's just pass the turn here. So yeah, this might turn into a bit of a depressing third match, just wrong land spells mix for both games, but it is what it is. Sure. Uh, I will discard Nossification. Don't quite have what they need to escape it yet. Oh, another bank buster, that's fun. No, they're all in on... Uh, all in on bank busting. Say go again. Hold up our other wandering emperor. I mean, if we can somehow get to the eternal wanderer, we might not be quite as dead as we think. but that's a hell of an if. Take down the other one. Let's block 
here. Cool, cool. Never has the land been more desired. Land, land. Okay, that's just about good enough. <laughs> so if we float a white with Iganjo, play Iganjo, play the Eternal Wanderer. You may keep a pilot. I will have a samurai. Okay. Sure thing. So we're going to have to discard Elspeth Conquer's death here. Yeah, no, we just got drowned in card advantage there and we were too slow off the mark. Disappointing, but can't be helped. So let's eat their croc, sir. Put urine on our hand. And wait to die. Yep, that'll do. Uh, never mind. I was still pretty impressed overall with how that deck did, I have to say. Um, it did beat Rakdos once, had a bit of a tough time the second time around, and uh, and pretty comprehensively saw off Merfolk. So yeah, that is mono white um, indistinguishable. It could be you could plausibly call it control, mid range, aggro, stompy. It just does all of the things, but it's a fun deck to play. So here's the deck list again. And yeah, so um, particularly if you have any uh, advice for improving the sideboard, just because it's um, it's designed as a pioneer sideboard, and obviously we it is a slightly different format, so deafening silence might not be as good. Um, so yeah, any any kind of suggestions on that would be great. But as usual, please like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time. Thank you very much.